Welcome to Wario World! Beautiful! Yeah. <laughs> Hi, uh, this is Wario7793. I, uh, I'm going to try a little something different here. I got me a really neat little uh, display spinner to, so I can showcase stuff in kind of a 3D uh, it's solar powered, so I'm trying some, with some extra lights here. I've got a flashlight and a desk lamp that was given to me. So uh, it does seem to be working, though. Um, you kind of have to give it a start. It winds up like the, the little toy cars with the wind-up wheels. Well, I'm going to showcase a couple of uh, Star Wars coffee mugs that my friend Johnny sent me uh, from California. I guess he got them from somebody that was just going to get rid of them, and he thought I could use them, and I like them. So uh, give me a second here. I'll get them started, and I have a couple of new uh, die-cast cars to, uh, to showcase. Okay, I think these coffee mugs are almost too heavy for this display piece, but it does work. Let me see if I can get the light in front here. There you go. Now we can see it a little bit better. Um, this is one of the coffee mugs I got from my friend out in California. Um... He, he gave me two of these. Um, I've actually never seen these before. Um, I'll take a look here. I've got the other one here. As you see, it's got a picture of the uh, some of the bounty hunters, including Garrido on it. It's made by a company called uh, Star Wars. It's called Gal Galeray. G-A-L-E-R-I-E. -E, as you can see right here. And... Uh, I've got another one here with a different display on it because these are all like a lot of bad guys. I guess there's Boba Fett. Okay, I'm gonna have to give it a little spin here. Let me get this thing started. Again. There we go. There's a Dengar, a Greedo, and then it goes around again. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, this is not going to work as well, but it's not bad. It's just that the it doesn't say the on the display spinner it doesn't say what the limit is on how uh, oops, get the lights adjusted here. There we go. It doesn't say what the limit is on the weight. At least it doesn't say on it. It just tells uh, how it works and that you have to have 500 lumens to run it properly. But I guess once you get it started, uh, the solar panels, it's got one on each. Uh, one, there's four of them all together. Um, and it runs it. Let me go ahead and show you the other one here. And here's the other coffee mug. As you can see, it's got uh, the Millennium Falcon, Chewbacca, and I see Han Solo and Lando Calrissian. That's actually some pretty good light and some, some nice paintwork. Um, I'm guessing that's Cloud City. It's kind of what it looks like. I don't recognize the two balls there. Almost looks like the top part of uh, the Star Destroyer. <laughs> this is kind of neat. I'll, uh, I'll definitely enjoy uh, having these around. Uh, let me go ahead and showcase what I've got next year as a couple of die-cast vehicles. All right, I went ahead and found this uh, 2018 uh, Hot Wheel of a 2018 Dodge uh, Challenger SRT Demon. Um, I love the red and, the red and black uh, scheme on it. Uh, it's really, really cool looking. Um, I was kind of hoping to find the uh, the Hellcat, but I haven't. If I happen to find the Hellcat, I'll go ahead and get it too. I don't think I see anything on uh, for license plates. Let me take a look at it as it's spinning around. Front doesn't have any license plates on it. I don't see much on the back either. Let's back this light away here. Okay, re, re -aim the, there we go. Aim, re -aim the light. Okay, there we go. Uh, No, there's no plate on that one. Okay. Well, uh, anyways, uh, let me let me double check uh, to make sure this is the right one. This right side up here. Yeah, 2018 Dodge Challenger. Um, it's a little hard to read with the camera. SRT Demon. It's a 2018 mold from from Hot Wheels from Mattel. Um. Yeah, I don't know how common or... Uh, this is the only one I've ever seen. I didn't see too many of these up at the local Walmart, but that's where I got this at. Okay, now I'm going to showcase this other really nice one. This is a Jada. Let me bring this up here. Okay, this is a Jada uh, 1970 um, 
Pontiac Firebird, uh, done up as a highway patrol vehicle. Oh, this thing is really, really nice. Super detailed, nice. It's got nice, thick uh, rubber tires on it. Well, plasticky rubber. Um, nice paint job on it. I have a good paint scheme. It's got the modern, uh, what do you call it, the, the uh, vector arc of lights up on top. Um, it's number 70, apparently. Oh, yeah, I guess it kind of, <laughs> I just realized that it coinc coincides with the year of it. Pretty cool. You can kind of see it's got some pretty good detailing in, in there. Uh, this one doesn't seem to have a license plate on either. Um, I, do, I, lo I do love the, uh, the the big tub tires on it with the rims on it. It's pretty cool. This is this thing is sick looking. It's got the uh, emergency 911 little sticker on the on the on the uh, rear panels there, the rear fender. That's pretty neat. I think it just says dial 911 or something for emergency. I'm not sure. I uh, got this up at the local Walmart uh, where I live at, and for some weird reason, the store had marked the wrong price. It was marked as a dollar, and I have never seen Jada's marked uh, Jada uh, diecast cars marked at a dollar. It actually rang up four dollars, which is still worth it. This thing is really heavy. Um, it probably weighs uh, fifty percent to almost twice what a standard Hot Wheel weighs, and uh, it says sixty-four scale, but it does look a lot uh, bigger and beefier and all that, and uh, It'd be interesting to see one of these in real life. Let's see what that, I think I can actually read that. Yeah, it says emergency 911, and I can't quite read it as it's spinning around. Let's see, I'll take this thing off and take a look at it here. Uh, I don't know what it says on the bottom there. It's a little too small. I'll see if I can put it up as text or something because it's kind of hard to read. I'll probably have to use a magnifying glass to actually read that. Well, let me set this back here and let it display itself. Well, I do want to thank everybody for checking this video out. Uh, I really, really like this display uh, spinner. It only cost me a couple of dollars. I got this from China through uh, eBay. I really like it. Um, I now have a, a place I can set this up here. Um, uh, I, I, I don't think anybody could, could, could tell me where I've got this set up, but uh, I have this set up kind of in a convenient little spot in my apartment So uh, because of the fact I've got everything cropped off. Uh, and I just went and cleaned the, cleaned the surface that this is sitting on and what this new lamp... Well, this is actually an old lamp that I got from a friend, but uh, it's really, really nice. I don't think I need this other flashlight. Apparently not, at least not for this lighter stuff. Well, anyways, this is Wario7793, and uh, thank you very much for checking these out, and uh, hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, thank you.